Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I am Khadija Munir and this is Computer Application 2. This course is for BS Chemistry 4 semester and today is a lecture number 5. Topic is Home Tape. Home Tape. Home Tape is the default tape in Microsoft Word. It has 5 groups of related commands, clipboard, font, paragraph, style and editing. It helps you to change document settings like font size, adding bullets, adjusting styles and many other common features. It also helps you to return the home section of the document. Clipboard. A clipboard is a temporary storage area of data that the user wants to copy from one place to another. In a word processor application, for example, the user might want to cut text from one part of a document and paste it in another part of the document or somewhere else. Paste. The paste button on the home tab places the current contents of the clipboard into the document at the flashing cursor's location. You can also paste by pressing cursor Ctrl plus V. When you paste text, the computer does not remove it from the clipboard. So you can paste it multiple times or in several places without needing to copy it again. Turning off your computer or rebooting empties the clipboard. Shortcut key for paste is Ctrl plus V. Cut. The cut function removes the currently selected text and place it on the clipboard. The clipboard on the computer function as temporary storage for the last item you have cut or copied. After you cut text, you wouldn't see it on your screen, but you can place it anywhere in the document using the paste function. You can perform a cut on a selected text by pressing Ctrl plus X or clicking the cut button on the home tab in Microsoft Word. How to cut selected text or picture? Select your text or picture and then select home menu and then click on cut tool. Copy. When you press Ctrl plus C or click the copy button on the home tab, the computer copies the selected text into the clipboard. The text also remain in its original location by pasting copied text. You duplicate it, making it faster to reuse the same word or sentence over and over. How to copy a selected text or picture from the file? Select your text or image. Select home menu. Click copy tool and it will automatically store in the MS Word clipboard. Format Painter Use the Format Painter to quickly copy formatting from one thing in the document to another. Just select the thing you like to look off. Click Format Painter and then click the thing you want to change to look like the same. Format Painter picks all of the formatting from your first thing whatever it is a shape cell picture border piece of text and applies it to the second this is our clipboard and at that moment you see paste cut copy and format painter are disabled how can i apply these functions first of all i have to select the text here it consists paste cut copy and format bit first i have to select the text then click on copy and then where uh, click over there where i want to paste it and then click on paste again click on paste again i can paste it many times as i want and original text is presented but when i want to cut it Suppose I want to cut that office button from here. I just select that word and then click on cut and then click over there and paste. 
so from its original position it has been cut and then it is pasted over there now our fourth option is format painter first I have to select for paragraph number one and change its format size and style right and now I want to apply that um, setting to my that paragraph I just select it like that and then click on format painter and then I select where I want to apply this you see it has been applied this is the purpose of format painter uh, you can see if I want to insert some image okay I have two images over there and I want to apply that image setting to this so first of all I have to select that image then click on format painter and then click over there you see it has been automatically changed to the new image so how it works now font a font is a graphical representation of text and many includes a different type face font size weight color or design microsoft word excel powerpoint allows you to change the font used when typing text in the document default font calibri and font size is 11 in word why are fonts used different fonts are utilized to add styles to the web pages or document fonts affect readability depending on the medium here you see this is our font group and it consists of many commands like font font size grow and shrink font clear formatting bold italic underline superscript subscript change case text highlight color font color and dialog box launcher now what is font size it is size of font the smallest size is 8 and the largest font size is 72 bold bold is used to highlight the text and capture the readers attention the bold is used for strong emphasis for example this sentence is bold shortcut key for bold is control plus B italic italic is a style of font that slants the letters evenly to the right for example this sentence is italicized control plus i underline an underline is a section of text in a document where the word have a line running beneath them for example this sentence is underlined shortcut key for that is control plus u subscript Subscript refer to the word or a character that is half the height of the standard character and printed lower than the rest of the text. In other words, its base of elements are number, for example, A2, 11012, and CO2. Superscript. A superscript is a character half the height of the standard character and printed higher than the rest of the text. In other words, its power of elements are number, for example, A power 2. 4 power 3 or a h minus 1 change case you can easily change the text in your document the changes apply for options sentence case lower case upper case capitalize each word and toggle case shortcut key for that is f3 in sentence case, it capitalizes the first letter of each sentence. Lower case, 
it changes the text from upper case to lower upper case it capitalizes all the letters of your text capitalize each word that's me it capitalizes the first letter of each word toggle case it allow you to shift between two case view for example capitalize each word and capitalize each word how you can apply change case you easily apply the text case in your document the following steps given below select the text you want to change in hope locate in home tab locate the font group click the drop down arrow to change case button it display change text menu select the desired case with the left click grow font it is used to grow or increase the font of the size control plus close square bracket shrink font shrink font size is used to decrease or reduce the font size of font control plus opening square bracket clear formatting with clear formatting function you can remove all the formatting on a block of sentence or paragraph the whole text the formatting such as font size text attributes bold or italic and the color and applies in the text can be clear with one click and then the text will return to its default style highlight text color word contain many highlighters to make your text pop up the screen just as you were highlighting the paper with the marker you can select text an image and then highlight it or use the highlight tool to mark different parts of the document you can also remove highlighting or quickly find the highlighted item in your document highlighting highlight text selected text select the text you want to highlight go to home and select the arrow then next to select highlight color select the color and you want suppose this is our document here some text is written before applying any font operation i just to select my paragraph and then click over here to select font style and pick arial then click over their font size and select its font size to 22 to 40 right and then i apply select that word it's also bold underline and you see over here a line beneath his word is shown I again select the word and click on underline it remove the underline again click over there line is shown below the word now i want to apply strike feature i select the line and click strike feature you see a line is passing through the words and then i use subscript and superscript i just click somewhere in the document and write word a and then i need first unselect underline and then click on subscript and write you see it is half of its size and now i want to write superscript like that you can write write any word and if you want to subscript or superscript just click over there i want to subscript 
then click sub script and pressed over there and you see it's written in its base and then I have I just select that paragraph and now click over there to grow shrink you see it automatically increase the size of font by clicking on data it reduces the size I can do this by clicking on that to select any font size by def default font size is 11 then I have another option which is highlight I just click over there and I have many colors I want to remove highlight then I have to select again the passage and then click on highlight and then click on no color and it will remove this now I want to select my paragraph and I want no formatting over there clear formatting so this is option for clear formatting it clear all effects that applied on the text now I want to change the text color here is option by default automatic color is black but I can use any color font color is used to change the font of your text you want to emphasize a particular word or phrase you can change it from font color the basic step change the font color are given below 